hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i wanted to share what we've been up to this week we are power washing the entire house building a shed to organize the garage painting our window shutters sharing some clips of emily's first day back to school breakfast and prepping for fall come along with me On, on a little project gonna build the shed for the backyard so we can clean up this garage put all these toys in it beautiful day you guys cheers of a van roaming in the wilderness we we'll never need a plan we'll be all right just you so let me show you where we think that we are going to put the shed so i think it's at eight by eight so we took measurements and we're taking off the grass a little help of grease here but we'll get there so the shed will be facing this way. We're gonna need space for this and space here too. So maybe we create like a little path. Put some flowers there and make it pretty. have it the second box and here we're gonna have the floor and the doors that we were missing after how many months since january <laughs> when it comes to investing in a shed maintenance is a key factor one of the main reasons we opted for a plastic shed is because it is maintenance free. This one is treated to resist the harsh UV rays. It is reinforced with steel framework so they can hold up against the elements. So if you're planning on investing in one soon, I will leave the link for this one down below. It is the next day and the roof is going up. Guys, this was not easy to build and you need three people at least to do this job. If you're new to my channel, hi and welcome. My name is Cindy and I love to share home decor, DIYs, home organization, some cooking, motherhood, everything home related. So if you're interested, please consider subscribing and say hi in the comments. And there you have it. Our shed is ready to store all the gardening tools. These planters are from Home Goods. I got them on clearance. I share all of the varieties of planters on my Fall Shop With Me video. If you haven't watched it, I'll leave the link down below. Moving on, we went to the Home Depot and bought this power washer. And let me tell you guys, this was so satisfying to see all the dirt disappear. One thing we realized very fast is that it is hard on the hands and back. The weight of the nozzles as well as the constant pressure on the trigger, our hands were aching. My husband power washed the entire house in this extremely hot summer month, so kudos to him. This was our first time doing this, so we did our research. What was the right machine to buy, the right nozzle to use, you should be covering your delicate plants, but most importantly is safety. Remember the water and electricity don't mix well, so check for overhead electrical wires and enjoy the process. We started painting our window shutters with the same paint that we use for our front door. We don't have much footage of the painting process. I will show you in a minute how everything turned out. I'm so pleased with the end result, you guys. Our 
little breakfast spot is ready for tomorrow. I have a spot for my little girl because she has to have breakfast for her big sister. I'm going to do a security board here and I will show you this tomorrow. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life This is a fun tradition that will last in your child's memories forever This gets them so excited for the new back to school year so I decided to do a charcuterie board with her favorite breakfast, which is pancakes. Boards are easy to put together. Just arrange everything and prep the night before and breakfast will be done in no time. Another fun and memorable back to school tradition is to create a path of words of encouragement using shock. This was a total surprise for my third grader. It gives them so much motivation and excitement to go back to school. Let me know in the comments if you have tried one of these traditions and what are your traditions to make back to school more fun for your kiddos. I am new using this product. You guys know that most of the time I use natural products because of my allergies, but I tried this and I am hooked. I clean this table in no time and it cleans so good. Surprisingly, it was a little bit chilly this morning on our first day back to school. It's so already cleaning the table after that cute little breakfast. And then I um, brought upstairs stuff that I have for fall. As you can see, I show you that this beauty and I wanna get another one either bigger or smaller with the, another color. Cause I grabbed the gray one, but I then I put it back. I want something more like taupe or more light than this. But this is so fun you guys for only $14.99 compared to the ones that they have at Pottery Barn. And I have my other pumpkins from last year that I brought up. I got this one as well. Hopefully I like um, this brand because I usually buy the Sand and Fog. And you guys, this is oh, delicious. I just can't wait to start decorating. I just needed to get my baby girl ready for back to school and then start decorating. I also got this one. I'm just giving you like a little haul here. <laughs> I got this cutie for $5.99 and I did get the coasters black and white because I'm not doing blue this year. So let's see. Oh, and this too. If you find it on Home Goods, it's amazing, you guys. I love it for $6. I have one by the entrance. The house has 
has a new look you guys painted the, all the windows black and now for some fall decor inspiration let's do a small fall styling here in the coffee bar I moved the coffee machine to this side of the kitchen because I needed that space to create a workstation for my little girl. So now it's time to style this little corner. The first item is going to be this gorgeous marble tray. So I can add my canisters on top. This one has regular sugar. And I'm going to add a second one with my coffee grinds. Next is this beautiful autumn sign from the Target Dollar Spot for $5. And it's the perfect addition for this little corner. Next to cover the outlet, I'm going to use this marble and wood riser. And we're just gonna add some flowers and a few coffee essentials. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good time. I recently ordered these coffee spoons from Amazon, and they are the perfect gold color. I will leave the link down below. Pretty affordable, too. Found what we're looking for in life. Last but not least, I'm going to use this cute ceramic pumpkin to hold our sugar in the raw. This is from the Christmas tree shop. I can't wait to continue decorating the house for this cozy and beautiful season. Let me know down in the comments if you started decorating for fall yet or is it too soon? You're still holding on to summer. I hope you have enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up thank you so much for your continuous support don't forget to subscribe to my channel and to follow me on instagram god bless you and i will see you guys in the next one bye we don't need no